So where are they games? We are Orbit Games. We are Team Fight Cross 1. We are Milkstick and the Jelly Beans. Sorry, I must stop. We are Planet Planes. We are Team Das. We are Team Muscular. We are Prehistoric Spatula. Ocelot's Raw. Meow! We are Team I Know. We are Stonehammer Games. We are Kaleidoscope Games. We are the New York Studios. I'm Jimmy, and these are the Scousers. It gets worse, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's not getting any better. There is such a, a brilliant way of getting into the industry. Sony Computer Entertainment uh, are really looking forward to seeing this year's talent and supporting the IP that's coming from this fantastic competition. These teams, in a space of nine short weeks are going to end up with experience that I think is worth a couple of years um, equivalent of having joined the, the, the industry. Our game is called Deep. It's a four-player underwater adventure designed for the Ouya where you take control of fish and explore for treasure at the bottom of the ocean. If you own a cafe and you are there to serve milkshakes to customers, lots of mini games. But then you have the management side where you manage cafes, expand them and customise. You use platforms to navigate around the map and there's a lot of mechanics involved in the level. Uh, the whole point of it is to fix different parts of the factory. Our game is a 2D vertical scrolling uh, action platformer sort of thing. Our main selling point really is our artwork. It's basically dinosaurs on your table, so with the augmented reality marker, you move your device around the scene and you fire dot tar at the escaping dinosaurs. And well, our game's called Care, and it's for iPad. Guide the character on one of his kites. Um, down through a series of maze-like favelas. Our game is a uh, 3D arcade game, and you wait for uh, the waitress or your mother to toss in food. You have to cast those food in each hand, combine them in the correct combinations, and eat them. Our game is Two Remaining Souls. It's a co-op action tower defense where two players work together on their iPhones, one strategizing uh, by placing your defensive towers, while the other one takes the fight right to the enemy as a giant lumbering golem. Uh, the game is about uh, stealing diamonds. So yeah, there are thieves and there are cops. It's an action game. Our game is Pygmy Panic, which is an augmented reality game, which is hard and tired of fence. It's using a marker to project our game into the real world by using the camera on your tablet. Players have to rotate the mobile phone uh, to solve pu uh, puzzle problems. And players have to figure out the best path to collect three stars and then exit the level. So you've got three people playing on a TV and they're playing a platformer like Super Mario Brothers and then we have a person on a tablet and the tablet user can sort of drag and drop hazards and spikes and traps into the world while these little, while the three players are playing the platformer. In our game you uh, cooperate to dig down to the centre of a planet that you can rotate and uh, drain the lava out into your spaceship. So the goal is to get the lava out of the planet and into the spaceship without dying or frying in the lava and so forth. The, uh, the name of our game is uh, Science Does Matter, um, which is a retro arcade game uh, for the iPad, which uses the touch screen. Our game is called Attack of the Ghastly Grey Matter, and it's an endless runner for Android tablets, where the player plays as a B-movie alien, abducting aliens and avoiding enemies like the army and the police and stuff. <laughs> We're mouthing it. <laughs> what the hell is a milk steak? Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering. It's a, it's a steak boiled in milk. Make it extra rare. Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> um. Massive. Uh. Massive quirky. If I had to g describe the game in three words, it would be confusion. Um. Dinosaurs. Addictive. Cooperative. Heavy action. Uh, fun and... Fun, food and energetic. Celtic. Chaotic. Immersive oh, so square. Immersive so serial experience. Uh, uh, yeah. Puzzle, platform, uh, um, physics, puzzle, platform. Food and augmented reality. Unorganized chaos. <laughs> Fun. Dig, spin, win. Magical, frenetic action. Fun, fluid, flying. Maybe frustrating. The immersive, quirky, and surreal, I would say. Bioluminescent underwater adventure. <laughs> Don't know. Yeah, YOLO. Bright, quirky, and not shaky. 
overly Irish. <laughs> uh, destructive and uh, good. So. I think they're going really well. We're totally on track to have a playable prototype um, for when the kids come in. We had to change the uh, dimensions of our game a lot and switch from portrait to landscape. Um, we had liquid dynamics, that's kind of gone now, and so is multiplayer. Um, and they were hard decisions to make, but um, yeah, I feel like it's been, it's been of benefit. I think our level design has been a bit slower than we thought it would be. There were some problems um, that we came across uh, a lot of it was to do with trying to alter our gameplay in order to make it better. Well, we had to like rewrig our character like four times, and we changed the art style like four times. So it's been a bit of a nightmare artist-wise. Initially, we had to change some of the mechanics, uh, as the mentors told us. It's been going great so far. We've got a lot of our features in that we needed. We did have to cut a major part of our game out, but it seems fine. That we don't have any audio. We don't have a fixed art style as such. We are working on that really, we are working on the characters. The major hurdle we had was uh, networking, that uh, was quite a big issue. When we were actually testing some input methods and build after build something went wrong, so that was kind of funny. <laughs> I initially we had some problems with the tablet but they have mostly been sorted. About the animation in their games and uh, some pictures and also some game control, you know. We're right ahead of schedule actually, yeah. so we get a lot of time to add a lot of polish and things like that. And then someone plays it and every time they'll find that one bug that's still there and it's sort of, it's, it, it, it feels bad to go, no, I have to go fix every little thing, but then you, you, you can't. It's to just sort of try to prioritise at the moment everything that's really good and needs to get in the game. Three best games ever. Oh, best three games ever. Ever? Oh man. <laughs> Uh, Ever? Ah, uh, uh. no, no, don't do this to me. Half Life, the Ocarina of Time, and Mario, Zelda, and Crush Bandicoot. Front Mission Three, Rainbow Six Vegas Two, Assassin's Creed, Super Mario 64, it's World of Warcraft, and Minecraft, and Starcraft. I want to be the guy. <laughs> San Andreas, uh, Borderlands Two, and uh, Bioshock Infinite. Total Eternal Darkness on the GameCube. Be Mech Warrior Online. Fruit Ninja. Okami, Bioshock, and Kingdom Hearts. Portal 2. Half Life 2. Res on the Dreamcast. GTA 4. Fallout 1. Halo, Doom. The Call of Duty. Prince of Persia. And Assassin's Creed. Oblivion. Elf Scrolls Oblivion. Super American Football. Uh, League of Legends. And. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on N64. Final Fantasy 7. Final Fantasy 10. Final Fantasy 9. Donkey Kong Country 3. And Star Fox 64. <laughs> and hopefully our game, I don't know. <laughs> it's very exciting to see the, the enthusiasm here. I mean, Dundee's got a rich history of making games from, from Lemmings to, to Grand Theft Auto, all supported by Habitat, Dundee University. It's a great initiative. And it really is a genuine sense of excellence. It sends out a great message to the rest of the UK, I would say. You know, I've been coming to the festival for a number of years now. I think this is the best yet. I've seen new innovative things, but of course, that's what happens in Dundee. It happens as a result of the great talent that comes through the University of Aberdeen and the graduates that I've seen today and some of our international teams are really are taking things to the next level. Amazing. Just amazing. Amazing and relieving. Oh, fantastic and really surreal actually. Very, very proud. I mean, uh, nine weeks we really worked hard. We had something. Mm -hmm. We had a very basic prototype before, but now we have people really getting amazed at the game. And they want to play it again and again and again. And this was a really, really great experience. It's been absolutely intense doing it the whole time, but what a relief to actually be here. You know, it's great to have the game there have everyone playing it. It's a finished product finally after nine weeks of just working like a madman, you know. It's, <laughs> it's really exhilarating. I mean, I think everybody's pretty exhausted by this point, uh, but it's just so rewarding to see people playing and enjoying your game. The reward that the kids wouldn't be able to pick it up is augmented reality, but once we've been shown what to do with the augmented reality, they're good to go and they're, they're coming back and we're like, having to kick them off because like, the kids are going to play. It's like, oh no. But it's, it's amazing. Just seeing the general public react to something we've made is 
and there are so many good games here. There are so many good, so uh, kind of shaky, kind of shaky, but very exciting. It's fun to see it. I mean, this little man just said to me, when can I buy it? So to hear that of someone is absolutely, you know, it's the greatest feeling in the world for what we do. And So I've been really kind of blown away by uh, what I've seen here today. There's so much variety. The people who are here have incredible passion. Uh, about what they do, and it's just, it's a great venue for, uh, for showing off the games and for having people kind of get to find out more about them. Welcome to the 2013 Dare to be Digital Awards Ceremony. The nomination uh, for the BAFTA Ones to Watch Award goes to I Know, The Unknown. Okay, so what just happened is, was that uh, Team DAS, my team, development team, uh, we were nominated for a BAFTA and we won the channel for a award. I don't think it has sunk in yet. I think it will take some time. I'm kind of slow that way. So uh, it feels very good, of course, but uh, I think it will take a couple of hours and a couple of years before it actually will sink in. Dare to be digital winners and final nominees for BAFTA Win to Watch Award are Majeli, Project Hero, Dynam Diamond Pipe. It feels awesome, it feels great, amazing. I mean, to come this far, uh, to put on the game and to see people really enjoy, it's an awesome feeling. Awesome. Thank you very much for coming. We hope you enjoyed it. We will be back next year. Thank you all. A big round of applause, please, ladies and gentlemen.